other parents who need to make a decision, the best thing I think they can do that I wish I would have had the option of is to find other parents. Other parents who've already been there and done that, that can maybe save you the trouble of the heartache of having to make this really hard decision. It, it's going to be, you have to make a decision and it's going to have to be your own decision. But it helps to have another parent who's been there and done that, who is non-judgmental about the decision that you've made and who you can bounce ideas off of. My advice to other parents who uh, have children that where they found out that their child has just had a hearing or is hearing impaired or, or any kind of other illness is to get as much information as you possibly can and don't just rely on one single source of information. Um, there can be multiple, uh, you know, so many different specialists out there feel that their way is the best way and that there isn't anything else out there, but there really can be. And I think that it's important as a, a parent to be your child's advocate and to play devil's advocate, even if you're speaking to uh, a top round, top renowned surgeon, you know, nobody's going to know your child better than yourself. And if you're not sure about something and you're not comfortable, make that surgeon explain it to you again and again until you're comfortable. Don't worry about their schedule and how busy they are because you're your, your child's best advocate. And although everybody else will care about your child, they won't care like you do. Um, my advice to any parent that has to make a choice about their child with any type of hearing loss would be that you, it's always what's best for the child, not necessarily I don't think what's best for anybody else, not the parents. It's what, what, you, what your goals are for your children, what you think that they'd want to accomplish in their life. and. Only, you know, you do what you think is best for them, and I think that you just have to listen to yourself, usually your first instinct, but get all the information. That way you have every corner touched, and you, you know, it's easier to make a choice. So be open to all kinds of suggestions and people and advice to get a, to get a better understanding. My suggestion to the parents who have this, this kind of problem like I did, I follow up, I follow, I, your concern for your kids is so greater because, like I said before, our kids or our future, they're the ones that are going to grow up. And if you have no concerns in between there, it's going to be problems, but mostly it's your concern for your kids.